We're gonna get started with the purple corn tortillas. Now, if I had actual purple corn available to me, I would be using the fresh purple corn, but I have this wonderful purple corn powder from Essential Living Foods. Um, you can find this on our website, blitheraw.com, uh, or you can find it at Whole Foods. If you get it at our website, we give you a 15% discount. But purple corn, did you know, Erica, that purple corn has more antioxidants than blueberries? I did not know that. Purple corn has more antioxidants than blueberries. Yeah, and I guess there's a Hopi prophecy that says when the purple corn comes to the West, there's great change in the planet. Well, I great planted some change. last summer. Did you? Yeah, did you actually great. get purple? Yes. And we've been doing purple potatoes, purple carrots, it's like, and purple broccoli. I just planted this sweet purple, purple broccoli. broccoli. Love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. The, the darker the color, when we see these purple colors, that's when we know we're really getting high amounts of antioxidants. I love that you planted purple corn. Okay, so we just do you know, the corn out of the cob, like so. Um, and then we're gonna add to that uh, bell pepper. And by the way, the recipes uh, can always be found on blitheraw.com after the show in the kitchen blog segment. So we can use uh, yellow, orange, red, whatever you want. I use yellow and then we're gonna do um, about a tablespoon and a half or, or two tablespoons of this purple corn powder. Where do they source Check that? Out. Is it Mexico? Mexico? Um, Mexico? What? You know what, no, Peru. 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 Check out this color, can I get an overhead? Look at that, is that gorgeous? Gorgeous! I, I love it, anytime I can add dark, rich, natural color to my dishes, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, then the spices, we have chili and cumin chili powder and cumin going into this one, and that's a little silk in there, okay? Then we have a little bit of sea salt. Um, then what else do we have? Corn, pepper, oh, you know we do our milled, I can't forget this, these are great, these are milled chia seeds. You can replace them in equal amounts for baking. So instead of using uh, flour, wheat flour that has gluten in it, and often it's bleached, you can use uh, milled chia seeds or flax meal. Uh, make sure they're raw, and that also allows you to omit the egg in baking equal amounts because of the sort of like the oil in both the seeds allows you to omit the egg. So we're going to use about um, three quarter cup of the milled chia seeds from Nutiva, loving them. Um, what else? Is that all I need? Lime juice, we're going to use a lemon because I only brought one lime and I used it for my holy guacamole, so you can use lemon or lime. We just squeeze it in there. I try to make sure I don't get the seeds in there. Um, that's it. Then I put a little sea salt in there. So we blend it up. These are our tortillas. So, and then what we're gonna do is we spread them on a dehydrator tray. Okay, so this is what we do. We take our beautifully pureed um, corn tortillas. Sorry, I put out the wrong one. We wanna use uh, so this is what the dehydrator sheets look like. They have like this mesh thing going on. So what we use when, when we get a little bit too like goopy to, to use the mesh, this is called Teflex. So when you see in my recipes, um, using a dehydrator tray and a Teflex sheet, this is the Teflex sheet, okay? So then we easy breezy scrape this out from the uh, food processor. And the recipe, I made a little bit less than what the recipe calls for. Uh, usually it'll be two entire uh, uh, trays full. Just so you know, you can split the batch into two different uh, dehydrator trays. And then you just spread it out like this, really easy. Try to spread it to all the edges. We want it to be very thin. So we just spread it out to all the edges. I don't have to fully do it right now, but I'll show you what we do after we put it in the dehydrator for about five hours. We get it and it looks like this. See how nice and thin and pretty that is? Okay, so what we do is these Teflex sheets don't let it dry on one side. So then we flip it and this is how we flip it, okay? We take the mesh and now we don't want Teflex because we're, we're ready to, it's dried enough where it's not gonna goop through. Take it, flip a Rooney. Now generally speaking, this one's usually clean because it, it's had the Teflex in it. So I usually just go ahead and um, put that back in. And then what we do, easy breezy, we peel it off. See how that peels really nicely? And you can see it's still a little wet on the other side. See that? So then we put it back in the dehydrator for like another um, hour. 
I happen to dehydrate it for too long. You want it to stay, to make the taco shell, you want it to stay so it folds, like the taco I'm gonna make for Erica, folds nicely, but if you dehydrate it too long, it's a tostada. And you can just do it like tostada style, or break them up like chips and do, not so, you know, it's like you can't ruin it. 